Let's go over this again in terms of lateral sway during the golf swing and how much we, we want and how much we don't want. Now, as you know, our goal is always to control the low point of the golf swing. If we can control the low point, we're going to be able to control the ball flight much better. So as far as lateral movement goes, now here, here's been our blueprint for a long time now. As we set up, we, we have, you and I have decided that we're going to set up with about 55 to 60% of our pressure onto our lead foot. So we're going to have us set up a little bit more pressure on the lead foot to start. Okay. That being said, if measured as, as we have on 3D, if measured, how much is the pelvis or the center of pelvis going to move from its original position during the backswing and back into the ball? So very little would be the answer. So he, here's what we do, and you and I have done. So we've got you 60, 60%, 40%. And as we swing the club back, what we're going to try to accomplish or our intentions are going to be is to not move the center of pelvis too much to the right. So I want you to imagine that you've got a dot on the center of pelvis, starting with your 60-40 pressure setup. And as you start to move the club away, there's going to be a small measurable shift from that 60-40 into a 50-50, most likely, but that's about all the pressure shift that we're gonna need. Now, if we started with a 50-50 pressure setup, I would probably work on making you have a more centered pivot where we wouldn't feel much go to the right and we would have your center of pelvis just begin to rotate. Okay, so from 60-40, we're gonna have a slight shift of the pelvis in the move away. Just a slight shift of the pelvis in the move away. And then from there, we're gonna rotate. Trail leg's gonna extend, okay? And the pelvis is actually not moving much to the right from where it started. And as we've measured on 3D, we've actually measured that spot and the average is about zero inches to four inches towards the target. So let, let me go over that from another view. Now here's a great view, bud. As we're, as, if you look at the center of pelvis here, okay, and we start with a little 60-40, as I move away off of the ball, you're gonna see a little shift of the center of pelvis to about that point right there. But from that point, on all the way up to P4, I want this pelvis to move towards the target. Okay, so you're going to see the average being around two to four degree or inches towards the target. Okay, we want to avoid moving this way. Okay, so trail leg extension, right hip raises into P4, pelvis moves towards the target. Okay, so one of the drills that we've done in the past is, is just had you centered. You can have your head close to the wall or up against the wall. And I want you to focus on what your intentions are in terms of pelvis movement. So 60-40, head is the hub, rotation, right leg extension, hip moves towards the target. Okay, center of pelvis doesn't move off the wall moves towards the target. All right, so just give me 50 of those every night and uh, I'll see you back in the, uh, 